everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about what the Orange Side's name is. Before we begin, we would recommend you check out our first video, where we lay out what we believe the Orange Side represents, which is linked in the description. We will be using this as our basis for this video. At the beginning of the series, the sides were referred to as what they represented, rather than their actual names. Logan was logic, Patton was called morality, Roman was creativity or princey, and Virgil was anxiety. Up until the video entitled Losing My Motivation, the viewers were unaware that the sides even had names. In the episode, morality refers to logic as Logan, thus introducing the audience to the idea that each side has their own name. We quickly learned that each side has to reveal their name to Thomas, otherwise he is unaware of it. Presently, the idea that before a side reveals their name, they are only referred to by what they represent, still stands as evidenced by Deceit and the Duke. At this point, every side has revealed their name, the latest being Deceit, who revealed his name to be Janice at the end of the newest video, as of writing this episode. Each name has a specific meaning behind it. In a behind-the-scenes Q&A, Thomas, Joan, and Talon explain the meaning behind each of the light side's names. Logan is based off of Logos, Aristotle's name for logical appeal, and Patton is based off of Pathos, Aristotle's name for emotional appeal. Roman is based on Romanticism and the Romantic movement. In this video, he also explains the meaning behind Anxiety's name. Virgil is based on the Roman poet and the character from Dante's Inferno, who leads Dante through the circles of hell. When this video was published, the light sides and Virgil were the only sides that had been introduced. Now we have two of the three dark sides, Janus and Remus. Remus, or the Duke, was the most recent to be introduced. He is the only side that has revealed his name during his introductory episode. His name is based on the myth of Romulus and Remus. In Roman mythology, Romulus and Remus are twin brothers that are descended from Virgil's Aeneas. Their story tells the events that led to the founding of the city of Rome. The Duke's name was also clearly influenced by the fact that he and Roman are twin brothers. Deceit revealed his name in the episode entitled Selfishness vs. Selflessness Redux. Once again, rooted in Roman mythos, Janus is the name of the god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, duality, doorways, and endings. Deceit is considered the gatekeeper. He is in charge of keeping the dark sides hidden, holding them back from Thomas. The god is usually depicted as having two faces, one looking to the past, the other looking to the future. A clear inspiration for Deceit's split-down-the-middle makeup. The light side's names each end in an or on. This is called a slant rhyme, a rhyme in which two words share just a vowel sound or in which they share a consonant sound, like milk and walk. Virgil is different because even though he is now a light side, he was once a dark side, so his name does not have the same ending. There is even a joke that addresses this at the end of the episode where Virgil reveals his name. My name is Virgil! Okay, it's like a band-aid, you just gotta rip it off. Virgil? Mm. Oh, but that doesn't end with an A-N or an O-N. Shouldn't it be something like a virgin? <laughs> Why is that so funny? Um, because, um, it's not. The dark sides, just like the light sides, have names that are slant rhymes. Both Janus and Remus end with U-S, so we can assume that the orange side's name will end with a U-S or a sharp S sound. We use this as a basis when searching for names. In our first video, we decided that the orange side would most likely represent rage. With this information and the knowledge that the name lacks any definitive meaning, as the other dark side's names do, relates to the poet Virgil, and rhymes with Janus and Remus, we selected three names that we think would fit the new sides. First is Turnus. Turnus is a man who acted as the main antagonist in Virgil's The Aeneid. In the story, the main protagonist, Aeneas, kills Turnus out of rage. As a result of giving into anger and taking Turnus's life, Aeneas loses his sense of respect and duty. He can also be described as having unmitigated fury while in battle. Additionally, one story he is involved with is compared to God's anger at Adam and Eve after they ate the forbidden fruit. The second name is Nessus. Nessus is a famous centaur who was killed by Heracles. In turn, Nessus's blood killed Heracles. In Dante's Inferno, Nessus patrols the exterior of the Circle of Violence, forcing souls back into the River of Fire when they try to escape. Besides being a centaur, 7066 Nessus is the name of a minor planet that is most likely a red-orange color, similar to Mars. The final name option is also the most probable. Cronus, also known as Saturn in Roman mythology, 
is the titan that consumed his children to prevent his being overthrown. Eventually, his son Zeus got the best of him, using his own scythe to chop him to pieces. Cronus is the god of the harvest and is commonly considered one with Kronos, the personification of time. If we look back at the most recent Sanders Sides episode, Selfishness vs. Selflessness Redux, we see many mentions of and discussions about time. Immediately after one of these discussions, the orange side seems to introduce himself using numbers. The word time was used 38 times in that episode. Maybe time spent serving up knuckle sandwiches to bad guys in a video game could maybe be better spent serving up soup and sandwiches to the hungry in a local shelter. Cronus is also described as the god of evil. Most commonly, he is referred to as the devourer of all things. This is considered to be symbolic of the destructive ravages of time, which Kronos represents, and literal devouring of his children. However, this exact concept could also be applied to rage. When someone is angry, their anger is often all-consuming and can cause them to lose track of time or waste it. Kronos also became the king of the one-eyed monster, Cyclops. In Rhythm Redux, we see Patton's left eye flash to white for an unknown reason. This could be him becoming blinded by rage, as it is clear that Thomas is becoming angrier and angrier as the song progresses. In learning new things about ourselves, Logan grows angry and throws something at Roman's left eye, resulting in him literally b being blinded by rage. Kronos has no definitive meaning, however it is possible it comes from the Greek word for crow. Kronos' rule over the world before being overthrown by Zeus is known as the Golden Age. Another Golden Age occurred during the life of the poet Virgil, when Augustus was the leader of Rome. During his reign, the gates of the Temple of Janus were opened only three times, just as the gates of Thomas's mind were opened to the three dark sides. When the gates were closed, there was peace. The poet Virgil said that the doors of the Temple of Janus kept the war in. As much as we hope the new side's name will be one of our options, we cannot make a strong theory until the side is actually introduced. Despite this, we believe we have made a strong case for why the orange side will be named Cronus. And of course, a dark side with a scythe as a weapon would be sick.